Welcome to Power to Excel broadcast brought to you by Sule Emmanuel Destiny Empowerment Initiatives. What you were about to hear has the power to transform your life, empower you for uncommon success, and make you a better person. The plan of God for you is to see you fulfill purpose, enjoy significance, and be a worthy representative of God in this generation. Listen to this classic message from Sule Emmanuel and be empowered to stand out and break records in this generation. The message you are about to hear is titled, Power in the Word, Part 4. The eyes of your understanding, let it be open. So you may know that this Christianity is not a waste of clock. It's not a waste of time. You are not just serving God in vain. He said, did I call Jacob to serve me in vain? Have I called you out of Egypt to make you live empty handed? Open thou my eyes that I may behold wondrous things that are buried in your Lord. He has hidden several truths in scriptures. It's up to you to catch, to behold what God has buried here. Is someone still with me now? Peter was grassy. One revelation made him rocky. I believe Peter had been looking for a change of story and nothing was working. And it dawned on him that what I need for a change of level is just one revelation. And when that revelation came, story changed. In other words, if you are tired of the way things are, one revelation can change things. Just one. If you are tired of being grassy, being trampled upon by life situations, one revelation can make you rocky. Can you understand my English at all? Thank you, Jesus. Number four. When you encounter the spirit behind the word, you absorb the life of God. What does it mean to absorb the life? The nature. The nature of God. God cannot beg. When I say, as you encounter the spirit behind the word, you absorb, you receive the life of God. What it means is this. As you encounter the spirit behind the word, you start receiving the nature of God. You start understanding what makes God God. You start seeing life like God. The creative power of God is released to you on the platform of revelation. Everything that makes God God is in his word. So every time I study, I study with my spirit opened, the life of God comes in. Number five and the last one. Christianity becomes sweet when revelation is in view. Every time you study the word, you catch something new. Life becomes sweet. Every time you study, you start seeing life situations in the Bible. Life becomes sweet. See, do you think it's a joke when God said it's the manual for life? You think God was joking? You think it's, it's the expression of someone who overthought? This is the manual for life. So which means, if I want to solve relationship problems, when my eyes are opened, I will see it here. If I want to solve economic problems, I'm having challenges, somehow with my finances, I'm having challenges with my children. When my eyes are opened, it will show me. Are, are you understanding at all? The reason for struggling is absence of light. The reason a woman will struggle in her marriage, absence of light. The reason a man is thinking, how can I raise my children? These ones have become stubborn. They become teenagers. They are now absence of light. Open my eyes that I may behold. This, this should be everyone's prayer from today. Open my eyes. I don't want to carry the Bible that's a stranger to me. Carry what I don't know. Just carrying it. It's like somebody who is carrying the solution, but yet he can't see it. You are carrying your help, but you are too ignorant to know where it is. There are people who I know, preachers of the gospel, businessmen, whose life have experienced consistent rise. All they had, one revelation. A great man called Peter J. Daniels. Peter J. Daniels never went to university. Never saw the four walls of a classroom. He's in his 80s now. Peter J. Daniels, he's an Australian. He's a multi-billionaire in dollars. He's a Christian. He's been invited by president of nations to advise them. He never went to school. 
he never saw the four walls of a classroom. What is he working on? Revelation. Occupy till I come. You are the light of the world. It's not just speaking what the letter says. It's interpreting the spirit behind the letters. Financial hardship can become history. Marital challenges can become history. Career challenges can become history. Open my eyes. Jesus, open my eyes. I don't know about you, but several times in my life, I've been on a fast for revelation. A fast for insight. Not a fast for power. Not a fast to, to pray on the sick. Not a fast for spiritual, you know, my ears to be open for prophetic dimensions. No! A fast to catch revelation. Brother, when you catch one revelation, some prayer points are not necessary. When you catch one, 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 I can't be praying for long life now. Why? He said, with long life, will I satisfy you? It's not a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, I can't be praying for long life. Let me live long. Why? Are you understanding me? Revelation. Revelation. Christianity will remain a struggle without revelation. When you've not caught anything from scriptures, why was I born? Why was this Bible written? Why should I be holding it when I've not found myself in it? I've not found myself in it. I'm just holding a stranger. I mean, it's, 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 it's even better bringing dictionary to church. I'm bringing Bible you don't understand. Are, are you understanding me at all? Open my eyes. I want to see. He said, the holy men wrote as they were inspired by the Spirit of God. So this thing is not somebody's idea. This thing is backed by a spirit. Should I be struggling in life? Why? 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 Be struggling with life and struggling with life situations. Number five. When the spirit behind the world comes face to face, the word of God connects you to the mind of God. The word of God connects you to the mind of God. Psalms 119, as 9 says, How can a man keep his ways pure? By paying heed to your word. How can a man remain upright? How can a man stand firm? All he has to do is to give attention. Don't tell me you are struggling with a vice. You are struggling with a habit. You are struggling with an addiction. Scripture has revealed. How can a man keep his ways pure? How can a man remain righteous? By giving attention to the word. Nothing makes a man righteous. Like the word of God. Nothing purifies a man. I'm not just saying the letters. I'm not just saying the typings. The spirit. Let's break this down now. So we, we, we don't just speak. When we talk about the mind of God. We are talking about the mindset and the wisdom you with me now. When we talk about the mind of God, we are talking of the mindset and the wisdom of God. You know, through the speech of a man, you know how he thinks. You hear a man talk consistently, you know how he thinks. So, the thoughts of God are expressed in the words of God. Are, are you catching it now? The thought. Hear what he said. Isaiah chapter 55. He said, my ways are not your ways. Neither are my thoughts your thoughts. So how do I know his ways? How do I know his thoughts? Through his words. So the ways of God are expressed in the words of God. The thoughts of God are expressed through the words of God. So hear this now. As I keep encountering his word, I start seeing how he thinks. And so long I can see how it, you know, he thinks, he start influencing how I think. God bless you. We believe you have been greatly empowered and equipped by this message. We encourage you to put to practice everything you have just heard. For other audio broadcasts, books and other products from the stable of Sule Manuel, please visit www.talkwithsuleimanuel.com or call plus 
7976. To communicate directly with Sule Manuel, please send an email to info at talkwithsuleimanuel.com. You can watch lots of destiny empowerment messages of Sule Manuel on our YouTube channel. Simply visit www.youtube.com slash Pastor Imaz Sule. To follow Sule Manuel on Twitter, visit www.twitter.com slash Imaz Sule Speaks. To follow Sule Manuel on Facebook, please visit www.facebook.com slash Sule Masters. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day.